Why do we suffer at the hands of these politicians? Don't you know politicians work for you? Hey. You're the boss. You hire them and you fire them. Look how they campaign. You know what they do? They audition. Yeah. When you put them on the job, if they're not doing the job, then you fire them. Because you're in control. From the city to the state to Congress to the president. You Hello, Talk Labor fans. Hey, we're back. Um, as you can see, we're broadcasting broadcasting from the house. And uh, I want to thank Harris Mac Films for uh, coming over and setting up and doing this for us. Um, we're broadcasting from my house because of the coronavirus. The coronavirus is something that's serious. Uh, my family and I, we're doing great. We haven't had any problems. I hope you haven't either. One thing I like to say is that I want you to stay safe. I want you to don't take any chances and follow all of the instructions of the uh, doctors and the scientists because you know they know what they're doing. Don't listen to that food. You know the food I'm talking about, the White House. Um, you know, our subject today is going to be about the uh, virus. It's going to be about the pension. And also it's going to be about sports and something unique about sports, okay? All right? Well, what I'm going to say is this. I'm going to start off with the, with the uh, virus. When, when the media and people realize that uh, this fool is playing the same old game he plays all the time. He's playing it all the time. I mean, what he does is like he won't do anything he's supposed to do. He knew about this virus way back. He lied. You all know all about that, how he called it a hoax and all that stuff. How he's looking at it as, oh, the only thing I'm concerned about is my money. Let's get some money. People die, too bad. He And he does that, and he tries to come across as tough. He's like, uh, he told somebody, they need to kiss my butt, talking about the states. If they want something from me, you know, no. And you get angry, I get angry, but this is a game he plays all the time. So when he do a little something right, you come, oh, he's doing it now, right? He's, no, no. Don't listen to that garbage. First of all, if you got problems, if you got any problem with anything, you go and try to find out what the problem is. You know, you, you find out what it is, like with the virus. You know the problem, the testing, and, and you're talking about uh, the hospitals, you're talking about the ventilators, all the problems, you know what the problems are, and, and you're not getting what you need to get, right? Well, that's not the problem. The problem is Donald Trump. You got to cut that cancer out and get rid of it. This is not the only thing that this man has done since he's been in here. He's calling people by, by, by catching women by the pussy. He, 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 he talks about you like a dog. And we do all that. Did he do something nice? He says, you, you're happy. Oh, look, he's going to be okay. He's rotten from the core. He's rotten from the core. You need to know that. Don't push your foot around with it because you know what it is. So when it comes time to vote, vote this clown out. Let's don't play. They are going to try to keep us at home again by saying, oh, you don't need to vote. You're in Russia. They're going to, no, we're not hearing that shit. This is America. We're not hearing that. We're not going to, uh, you know, succumb to that kind of stuff again. So we're on top of it now. Okay? And stay on top of it. Stay on top of it. Uh, the man lies so much. He lied so much till Dr. Fossey couldn't hold it. He had to sit, he had to just put his hands over his face and just crack up because the man was just lying. Take a look at this clip. Just crack up. Oh, one for Dr. Fauci and then hopefully one yeah, for you. Sure. And, and one thing, uh, Secretary of State Pompeo is extremely busy, so if you have any question for him right now, could you do that? Because you know what I'd like to do? I'd like him to go back to the State Department, or as they call it, the Deep State Department, if you don't mind. I'd like to have him go back and uh, do his job. So does anybody have any question? Please. Mr. Secretary, can I ask you? See what I mean? The man just, you know, he had to cover his face because he knew that this big clown is lying like he, like, like he always do, you know. But anyway, let's move on now. Um, one of the things I want to do is talk about, to, to talk about too today is uh, the pension and the coalition in Chicago. 
Chicago is our base, that's where we film from. Um, you know, the, the attorneys had um, a, the case, the last case set up for last month, I think it was, in March. Well, this month, in March. And everything is closed down. All the courthouses are closed, so they had to reschedule. And when they rescheduled, they rescheduled it for uh, April 17th. And that's the big case. That's the one, that's the last big case that uh, we're going to have to deal with. And uh, it's about us, um, the uh, class action suit that I filed. CTA is saying that, hey, you know, Jerry Williams didn't have no right to file a class action suit, and um, we'll pay him, but we don't, we don't think we need to pay, you know, everybody because he didn't have a right to file it, which is a lie. I did have a right to file it. Now, we went all the way to the Supreme Court. They tried that at the Supreme Court. It didn't work. The Supreme Court set that all back down to the circuit court and told them to straighten all that garbage out. That's where we are. Now, they try to stall as much as they can because the longer they stall, the more money they can make. We're asking for all, all the money that's made off of our money to be paid to the retirees. We're also asking that in that, in that lawsuit that um, if a retiree happened to pass, a retiree happened to pass, that money is to be paid to the family, okay? Now, some people may have gotten a little bit uh, uneasy because of the time that it takes. No, you're right. It shouldn't have taken all that time. But y'all got to realize what the facts are. First of all, we should not have, it shouldn't have gone beyond one year. And the reason I say that is because everybody filed a lawsuit, including us. We filed ours first before anybody. And uh, we filed for the actives and we filed for the retirees. The judges ruled that uh, the retirees had a case, but they said the active didn't have a case because the union signed off on the agreement. Well, that's true. The union did sign off on the agreement. I think that was rotten. I got some information that I'm going to bring to you all that's going to knock your socks off about that. I'm really going to give it to you after this lawsuit. But uh, that union wasn't the only union that signed off on it. Fire department, police department, they got, their guys signed off on it. But you know what? The Supreme Court ruled in their favor and told them, hey, you can't do that to them. And I ain't got to tell you why. You know why. We're the only union that they did that to. Now, we fought and got ours to where it is now. The actors didn't. And uh, I'm going to let you figure that out. No, I'm going to tell you why it is. Because you're black. That's why. You know, you had, you had out of the seven judges that ruled, five of them ruled this way. You know, to pay, the, the retirees had it right, but the actors didn't. Other two judges ruled against that. And the reason they ruled against it because they wrote in their briefs that they should treat us the same way they treated everybody else. I got all that too. I'm going to show you. The two judges ruled that. They should be doing that, treating us the same way they treated everybody else. And that, that not only the retiree, but the actives too. Do you know how much money they took from y'all? Y'all add that up. Have your union leaders add that up. And see how much money they've taken. A billion dollars off. And, uh, and they continue to take it from you. But that's something you all got to deal with. I mean, when I say you all talk about the active people. We don't. We're here to protect this union, that, this uh, pension that we have. And that's why we formed that coalition. Oh, you're going to hear a lot about that. It's coming. So anyway, uh, once the, we find out what the, uh, uh, the judge did at the hearing, we're going to have a, a uh, meeting, and hopefully we'll be able to have, a, we could be able to congregate and have as many people as we want at the meeting when we do have the meeting, and get, bring you up to date. And if we don't, I'll still bring it to you on this channel right here, okay? So that's what we're going to do with that. Now, I want you to uh, sit back and relax. I'm going to show you some stuff that... Uh, you know, you, you're really going to enjoy it. And that's going to be uh, sports. And I'm talking, you know, you don't, you don't have any sports going on now, right, with, with the virus going on. But I want to show you a young man that uh, is unbelievable. I was out there. They had a big, big uh, event where they had parent, uh, well, uh, juniors and uh, 
women to uh, compete against each other. Women, you know, partners with the junior. And uh, this young man, Josh Weems, you're going to hear that name a lot. He bowled with uh, Ruth Williams, who happened to be my wife, who probably thinks she's better than I am now because she's been winning a lot. I'm not going to say anything about that, but uh, it's more about Josh. Josh, uh, Josh shot the lights out. I couldn't believe this young man. He's like nine or ten years old. I got some footage I want you to see, but this kid shot 279 scratch. Should have been 290 because he got cheated out of one strike. 279 scratch, and then he shot 728 scratch, along with Ruth shooting the top game that she shot. They came in first place by a mile. It wasn't even close. Enough. And he's a little bitty guy. And these big dudes, man, one of the dudes had a beard, man. <laughs> they were shooting. They went nowhere clear, close to this kid. You're going to hear a lot about him over the years. You haven't heard about him. He should be known all over the country. He will be known all over the country because we're going to make that happen. But um, I'm going to have him on my show. Hopefully when we get downtown, things get a little bit better. I want him to come on my show as a guest. I want you to hear this young man. As young as he is, he has he's very mature. So I want you to, uh, you know, be able to see for yourself and just judge for yourself about this young man. Also, we're going to be talking about a new innovation with uh, a brother. It's by the name of his name is uh, Bill Torch. He's working with my group. We're working on something that's going to be just transformable. You know, you're not going to believe what we're going to do. Sports ride, you're gonna really love this. Um, we got we got sponsors and everything that's gonna work with us on that. This is gonna be in the bowling community. We want you to guys be looking out for that. We're gonna give it to you. It's gonna be fantastic. <laughs> Now, uh, before we wrap it up, uh, you know, normally I have a musical, uh, uh, something musical at the end of the show because I love, I love my throwbacks and stuff like that. And you love it. And you just remember how great the music was. Not to say the music is not great now today, but I'm talking about some of you guys that watch these shows. You identify with this music. And uh, I normally do that, but this time I'm not going to do that because... I've been telling you how dumb Donald Trump is. And I told and I told people, I always tell people, the people that follow him are dumber than he is. Believe me, they are dumber than Donald Trump. But I don't need to t tell you that. I got clips to show you this. And this is honest to God, true. No, you know, haven't tampered with anything. This is just questions asked. You got to see this. Barack Obama had a big part of 9-11. Which part? Not being around, always on vacation, never in the office. Why do you think Barack Obama wasn't in the Oval Office on 9-11? That I don't know. We'd like to get to the bottom of that. Everything I said is true. These people are dumber than anything you've ever seen before in your life. Isn't it? When Hillary Clinton said they're a bunch of deplorables, she wasn't lying. Watch this and you'll see what I'm talking about. Hey, read the transcript. Read the transcript. Yeah. Did you read the transcript? I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else has. I, I can read it if I need to, but right, yeah. But it's important it's, that it's everybody obvious. reads the transcript. It is very important. Pay attention and think for yourself. Yes. You have, but to don't, be clear, you have not read the transcript. I haven't. No. Right. No. But it is just important. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be a sheep. Think for yourself. But again, just to be very clear, yeah. you have not read. It. I have not read it. You just trusted somebody else. Correct. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll be back next week. We're gonna see you again on Talk Labor. So y'all, stay safe. Do the things you need to do. Wash your hands. If you wash them 10 times a day, that's great. But go more than that. Jerry Williams, we'll see you next, next week.